Well, good morning, everybody. I'm out here hiking up to go to one of my trail cameras that I have a lot of high hopes for. So, really hoping uh, we got some good elk and good deer on this. It's out in the middle of nowhere. A lot of bear sign, though. So, we'll see. Uh, out here hiking with my, my wife and my dog and already out of breath. <laughs> oh. Uh, it's a beautiful day out today though, so hopefully by the end of this, um, I'll have uh, some pictures to show you guys. I'm really hoping. Uh, I do have another camera I want to set out, so we'll go take a look at that spot and uh, go do that. And yeah, hopefully I got some stuff to show you at the end of this. Not looking forward to the rest of this hike. I just can't wake up this morning, but we're doing it. <laughs> it's getting close to season. I gotta know what's on this, so see you at the top. Well, we made it up here, and as you can see, I have the camera right behind me. Uh, it looks super tore up in here, and one of the reasons why is there's a whole bunch of huckleberries. Well, there was, um, but it looks like my camera's got like 5,000 pictures on it, which is really good. I'm happy I put the 32 gig in here because uh, it's been a while, but it looked like every picture had some sort of animal in it so far that I scrolled through, so it looks like hopefully this will be the spot. Hard to get to. And I mean, it's absolutely beautiful in here, so it'd be a great place to harvest a harvest a buck. Uh, and then you got Melissa over here. She's uh, <laughs> Melissa and Nala over there picking as many huckleberries as she can get before all the bears and deer get them. But uh, I think they've done a pretty good job already getting most of this in here. But pretty cool spot. Really liking it. Uh, I would probably, depending on the wind, there's like a tree up there. In the corner of this I'd put up and then there's a tree like right there um, or maybe that one back there one of the bigger ones uh, I could put my tree stand in and sit in for early season not gonna have a ton of time because I took a week off um, in September like September 17th through the 24th uh, so I'll be going to Idaho and doing some hunting in a spot I've never hunted before so that ought to be fun too but uh, yeah I'm ready for hunting season. It's gonna be a weird one without my dad around. I'm just not as excited as I usually am, but uh, hopefully, hopefully we have some good luck and uh, hopefully it's a good season, so. And I got one more spot. I gotta go uh, put another camera up, but besides that, uh, we'll film that and everything as well. Hopefully we find some good spots over there where I'm thinking it's not as far away as this. It'd be nice to have a little closer spot. Uh, and then we'll probably uh, take a look at what I got on camera in here. Hopefully there's a lot. So see you guys at the next spot. Had to stop up here and shoot the bow a little bit. A great spot to shoot it. And just wanted to see how my broadheads are shooting. And they're shooting pretty good. I need to make one little tiny adjustment. But that's about it. And then got the new RX-7. Just the regular one, not the Ultra. All ready to go. I got my new mount on there for the Tacticam 6.0 so no more missing kill shots that'll be nice and then shooting the 200 grain cutthroat broadheads this year they are sweet and break some bones with those but everything's shooting really good So heading into the second spot and uh, every time I see any stream like this now in Montana I just assume there's trout in it and there was <laughs> watched a little little fish probably a little trout just go right underneath that bush over there so too bad I don't have my fly run <laughs> but we're getting pretty close to where we want to break off from the road and uh, looks really good so far seeing a lot of bear shit on the road which isn't great because uh, we are in grizzly bear country uh, and it's big bear shit. So um, we have also seen moose and elk, a lot of deer tracks. So looks pretty well loaded in here and it's a walk-in area only. So you got to love that. Um, we probably got another mile to go, but uh, we'll see you at the spot. Hopefully there's some good sign there.
So Melissa's a little upset because the bears are getting all the huckleberries, but that's a pretty big pile of shit right there. Like, I wear a size 12 boot, so it's not little. It'll be really interesting to see the uh, bears we get on trail camera in here. I know there's quite a few grizzlies. Uh, I've done my research. And then uh, I know there's some really big black bears in here too. So just never know what you'll get on camera. Get on the uh, trail camera. Can't talk. You're eating all my huckleberries. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're a little ways back here now. Now I'm starting to find some good sign, some big, big beds. I can smell some elk in here too, so probably some elk beds. And I was checking them out, but really cool spot so far. It's like a little a good amount of cover, but also uh, definitely enough, <laughs> definitely enough uh, space to like shoot my bow and uh, have some shooting lanes in here. Nala's probably found some elk shit to roll in. <laughs> it's like some good stuff, Nala. Yeah, you're gonna need a bath when we get home. But cool spot. Just gotta find a place to put the trail camera out. All right, so we're at the spot. Uh, it's a really cool spot. It's got some meadows up here. And then these trails bail off into this uh, little canyon down here, which is nice. It's got some more thick cover and we're right on the edge of that. And we're seeing a lot of signs. There's rubs behind me. There's uh, deer shit everywhere, so all good stuff. Uh, and then we'll talk about the trail camera a little bit. The soon trail cameras, um, they do some uh, night vision stuff as well, but they're nice enough to send me a trail camera to test out. It's got Wi-Fi. It's got a ton of different features. Really, really cool. I'll take it out of the box here and just show you guys. So I've pretty much got it ready to go, and we're going to put a 32 gig card in there. Um, they're actually nice enough to give you a 32 gig. It runs off a micro SD card, so you got to be prepared for that. But uh, really cool. Um, I've seen some of the quality pictures of these guys, so I'm really excited to see what uh, what this takes. And because we're in such grizzly bear country, it's really nice that they put a little spot there for an adapter because we're going to have to use a tree mount and get up right about there. I just don't want anything messing with this trail camera. Uh, people as well, but we're pretty far back here and I'm not too worried about people. It's more or less the bears and elk do to mess with uh, some, of my, some of my trail cameras. They're always rubbing and licking on it and stuff. So we're going to get pointed down right on this trail right here. And uh, yeah, hopefully in a couple months I can come back here and show you guys some awesome uh, trail camera pictures that we got. Um, probably going to leave this one up year round, test the battery out as well. Uh, but it should run for a really long time. I'm excited uh, to work with this company and uh, see what we can do. So I'm going to get this set up. And then that's probably going to be the end of the video. Um, uh, we'll probably show you guys some pictures at the end. Hopefully I got some big bucks on my other trail camera. So here's the season. But keep living the uphill lifestyle and see you on the next one. So I just got home and took a shower, got cleaned up. Uh, we looked at the trail camera. And there's some nice bucks on there, a lot of bears. Uh, there is a wolf as well, which is a pretty cool picture. Uh, hopefully I don't run into any of them because I don't have any tags. So, um, But there was a really, really nice buck in there yesterday, which is really cool. And I think it is this buck right there that I actually picked up the shed to. Um, about 20 yards down the hill from where this buck walked. So um, I'm going to show you guys all the pictures here in a second. But um, I really do think it's this guy right here. I think he cleaned up a little bit. He might not have as many points, but he's a lot bigger. And he definitely kept that kicker, which is kind of an intel of the same genetics. Did not get to see his eye guards, but uh, this is just an absolute unit. I mean, it's a big shed. Um, and he definitely got bigger. He's a bigger buck. So I'll let you guys be the judge. Could be a different buck. There could be a couple of them in there like that. And I would take that. So I'll let you guys be the judge. Uh, see if it's the same buck or not. Uh, leave the comment down below. But hopefully I'll show you some pictures right now. And you guys can uh, take a look at them.